This is Ghana Talks Radio, the best station rock in the nation. Get it big, get it here. Listen to all your live mixes, live radio programs, and live entertaining and news package programs right here from GTR. Ghana Talks Radio. GTR News. GTR News. We bring you local news, business news, international sports and entertainment news. Right here on GTR. GTR. Good afternoon. It's time for the afternoon news right here on Ghana Talk Show. Then I go by the name Regina Bless. So moving to our headlines. June 3rd disaster seven years on after Black Wednesday. Dantuman robbery case, motor rider, and another reminder. This and much that is coming up. Stay tuned. We bring you local news, business news, international sports and entertainment news. Right here on GTR. GTR. Welcome back from the break. So, moving to our top stories. Today, June 3rd, 2022, marks the seventh anniversary of Ghana's worst disaster, the June 3rd twin disaster, which occurred in Accra in 2015. In the middle of a heavy flooding and rainstorm midnight Wednesday, June 3rd, 2015, an explosion at Kwame Nkrumah Circle branch of the Gold Filling Station in the capital Accra killed at least 150 people and plunged the whole nation into an official three-day national mourning. The streets of the capital from the accident scene were littered with bodies while some were found in drains, taking authorities weeks to clear the remnant of the disaster. The mugs were congested with bodies and hospital authorities were overwhelmed with casualties from Ghana's worst ever disaster that happened on June 3. What many Ghanaians have coined the Black Wednesday years ago still has imprint of sadness and sorrow to date and is likely to leave an indelible scars on the minds of Ghanaians. Seven years on, there hasn't been any change in respect of the national effort to right the wrongs from the horror that hit the nation. Flooding continues to be a major catastrophe that Ghanaians may have to live with it perpetually. The country has already recorded several incidents of flood in many parts of the capital, Accra, including Kwame Nkrumah Circle, Kaneshi, Odoko, Dan Suman, Flamingo, Teshi, and Mateko, among others. Moving to our next story, Dan Suman robbery case, motor rider, and another reminder. A motor rider who allegedly robbed a 58-year-old woman of a handbag containing two mobile phones and 60 Ghana CDs cash at Dansuman has been remanded into prison custody by an Accra security court. Paul Adiko, 26, has been charged with robbery. Yao Danso, a barber who allegedly bought one of the victim's mobile phones at the cost of 400 CDs, has been charged with this honesty receiving. Adiko and Danso have pleaded not guilty to the charges. They are expected to reappear before the court presided over by Mr. Yimano E. Sando in two weeks' time. Narrating the fact of the case, Assistant Superintendent of Police, ASP Maxo Opon, said Benisna Ajelokwe, a 58-year-old trader, was the complainant in the matter. Madam Kwe resides at Kaneshi. ASP Opon said Adiko and Dantu resided at Chako in Accra. The prosecutor said on May 22, this year, the complainant attended church service at International Christine Liberty Center in Dansoman Exhibition. Prosecution said after the church service, she decided to visit her parents who lived a few meters away. While walking to the house at about 3.40 p.m., Adiko, who was riding a Royal 125 motorbike by past the complainant, went some distance ahead and turned directly towards the direction of the complainant. Prosecution said the billion Rwanda jumped down from the motorbike, attacked and snatched the complainant's handbag containing Samsung Galaxy A23 mobile phone valued 1,700 and a Nokia 101 mobile phone also valued 1,500, two notebooks, a pen and some cash. 
The prosecutor said Adiko waited for his accomplice and after snatching the complainant back, they sped off. Prosecution said luck. Prosecution said luck eluded them when a CCTV camera captured their nefarious act. According to prosecution, on the same day, Adiko sold the complainant Samsung A23 Galaxy mobile phone to Danso at Choco for 400 cities. How can you sell almost a thousand cities phone for 400 cities? That's greediness. Ah, uh, then I can say one brain now. Yeah, it's 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 kind of something you sell it at any price you want. So it said on May 23rd this year at about 4 o'clock p.m. Personnel of the National Police Intelligence Di- Directorate, supported by a team of police personnel from Dansuman Division, undertook a special operation. Yes, and the accused persons were arrested. So the prosecution said the complainant, Samsung mobile phone, was t- retrieved from Danso. It said efforts were being made by the police to arrest to arrest the third accomplice. Duty our news. Duty our news. So moving to our next story. Cut grants bill to three suspects arrested in connection with wild love bet flogging. This this story is really funny. So the wild security court has granted bail to three suspects arrested in connection with the flogging of two love birds. The suspects were asked to reappear on June 30th, 2022. They were granted bail. They were granted bill in the same in the sum of three thousand and five different sureties and are to report to the police and are to report to the police anytime they are needed. The three are seventy year old driver Na Ishaka Mahama, sixty two year old farmer Na Osman, and thirty two year old mobile phone repairer Bushran Kidira. Prosecuting police detective Sergeant. Martin prayed the court to keep the three accused persons in custody because the prime suspect Na Adam said to Pelpua had not been apprehended. According to him, releasing them on bill could interfere with police investigation since some of the suspects are at large. However, the presiding judge Jonathan did not grant the wish of the prosecutor. He argued that since the three suspects are not the persons who committed the act there is no need in keeping them in custody hence the bill we're going on a quick commercial break we'll be right back with the business news namin because legendary your host for nigeria and the i feel like make you join me this saturday and every other saturday from 12 to 1 30 p.m as I go to summer you with the latest news and gist directly from our Bodo Nigeria. Don't forget so you still catch up on all our previous episodes of Nigeria The Vu and other Senge Menge shows via www.ganatalkradio.com or may you Google carry us for your pocket by downloading our Ghana Talk Radio app via Android Google Play and iOS App Store. Omo yami, Oya Jima Sun. Hello Ghana, hello worldwide, and I'm with the level bear. Now listen, every Tuesday and Friday, be at the time it's going to carry Brel and we're gonna talk radio 7 p.m. sharp. Now Tuesday, and we're gonna talk about our culture, our history. My twenty things that it's about Kosem. No, on the Friday, and you bars on bars on bars. You better rap, you better say, Adi. No artists go join me in the studio. We're gonna discuss about music and business. Kodia, or your singer, and now your rapper, you think that you get bars. You go be spit fire. Now listen, make you join me with studio. Our Ghana Talks Radio and yes, say I did our day. Miss it, download the Ghana Talks Radio app on our know, Play Store and the App Store. Not tune in a yes, say I did. This is what you see. Baba Life on Facebook, Queen Takra, any Ghana Talks Radio page. And so now listen, a bay of fire. When you call me, what in? Jaja. Duty our news. Duty our news. Welcome back from the break. If you just joined, you are live on Ghana Talk Radio, and this is the Axing News. So we're moving to some business stories. 
funding of National Cathedral Project shrouded in shadiness and blatant corruption, Ablakwa says. The minority in Parliament has called for the finance minister to appear before the House to answer questions on the release of 25 million Ghana cities to the National Cathedral Secretariat as additional seed money for the project. According to the minority spokesperson on foreign affairs, Samuel Okuja to Ablakwa, they have cited the letter signed by Mr. Ken Oforiata, in which the release of the amount had been stated as additional seed money for the National Cathedral project. The letter, dated March 31st, is addressed to the controller and accountant general. Mr. Ablakwa said the letter comes as a surprise to them especially since there was no allocation of money to the cathedral in the 2022 budget. Mr. Ablakwa said the letter comes as a surprise to them, especially since it was no allocation of money to the cathedral in the 2022 budget. Addressing the media, the North Town MP said that MPs have not approved all of these colossal sums of money that have been released to companies we are seeing for the first time. We are not even aware of the procurement process that were followed for these companies. And this consultant who are today receiving hundreds of millions of Ghana cities. He stated that this letter exposes the government's lack of sincerity, duplicity, and the deception, especially since the president has said on numerous occasions made it clear the National Cathedral project was a personal pledge. So we are building a National Cathedral which should be a symbol of holiness and everything pure, everything clean and see how it is shredded in sh such shadiness and clear blatant corruption, he added. So moving to our next business story, Finance Ministry refutes allegations of recklessness by Imani. A Deputy Minister of Finance, John Kuma, has refuted the Imani Center for Policy and Education's claim that the Ministry of Finance had the highest level of fiscal recklessness between the years 2015 and 2020. According to the second Fiscal Recklessness Index 2020 report, which utilized the Auditor General's report to assess the fiscal recklessness of ministries, departments, and agencies. The finance ministry was responsible for about one, for about 11 billion Ghana cities in losses to the state due to its recklessness. But in a response, Dr. John Kuma described the report as a poor job. I read the IMANU report, and I think Our news. I read the Imani report and I think it was a poor job done. It only rehashed the finding of the Auditor General Department report, which was widely misinterpreted by many Ghanaians to say that Ghana had lost billions of cities, which was not true. Mr. Kuna also noted that when you accumulate previous audit irregularities, and you failed to tell us the following year's activities, which recovered much of the losses from the previous years. Then, you will be double counting the irregularities. For example, in the year 2018, when they said the GRA did not collect about 5 million in taxes in the following year, Ghana Revenue Authority came up with a report to show that 95% of the said amount has been collected with the rest 5% being matches of litigations. Amalox shops in Accra with unclean footages owners to be put before court. The Accra Metropolitan Assembly has locked up some shops in the central business district with unclean surroundings, footages and drain about their premise. The shops were locked on Tuesday following a directive by the mayor of the city of Accra, Honorable Elizabeth Kwatswate Yasaki, when she paid a working visit to Gamashi, Kantamanto, Makola, June 4th, and Agboglushi Market. 
Public health officials of the AMA were also directed to issue summons to the shop owners to appear before the court for failing to keep the frontages clean, contrary to the assembly's bylaws on sanitation. So according to the AMA sanitation bylaws 2017, a person commits an offense if he or she fails to keep the drains that abuts the premises up to the middle of the streets clean provide a standard container for refuse storage as prescribed by the assembly, receives service from an unauthorized person or unregistered solid or liquid waste collector, indiscriminately dumps solid and liquid waste in open spaces, drains, gutters, or bumps solid waste. Mayor Saki expressed displeasure about the unclean footages of some shops in the market and admonished shop owners to endeavor to keep their surroundings and all of their drains clean to avoid prosecution. She reiterated that Bola in drain must stop now to ensure the free flow of water when it rains and to prevent communicable diseases in the city. So we're moving straight to some international stories. Bedding urges ban on assault style weapons and gun age limit. Bedding urges ban on assault style weapons and gun age limit June 3rd, 2022. President Joe Biden has said in the US should ban assault style weapons and high capacity magazines to tackle the carnage of gun violence. In a primetime speech to the nation from the White House, Mr. Biden said too many everyday places in America had become killing fields. He said if Congress could not outlaw such weapons, it should seek to raise the age to buy them from 18 to 21. Mr. Biden spoke after a string of mass shootings in the country. The U.S. president also called for expanding federal background checks and nationwide red flag laws which allow law enforcement to remove weapons from anyone deemed dangerous. But the prospect for Congress passing any gun control measures look uncertain and the U.S. Supreme Court could instead be poised to expand Americans' gun rights in a landmark case that justice are considering. Declares emergency over food insecurity. Chad's interim president, Mohammed Idris Debt, has signed a decree declaring a food and nutrition emergency. This decision follows the constant deterioration of the food and nutritional situation this year and taking into account the growing risk to populations if no humanitarian aid is provided. The plea for aid comes before a meeting between African Union Chairman Maki Sao and Vladimir Putin to discuss Russian grain supplies. The United Nations has warned that 5.5 million people in charge, more than a third of the population will need humanitarian assistance this year. The World Food Program said in March that some 2.1 million Chadians would be severely food insecure during the dry weather season that starts this month. So we jump into some entertainment stories. Meghan Markle points how we enter public life with Queen Thanksgiving. Meghan Marco and Prince Harry have made their first appearance into public life after quitting as senior royals in 2020. The Duke and Duchess of Success have returned to mark the momentous platinum jubilee of Her Majesty the Queen two years after leaving UK. Meghan entered St. Paul Cathedral in a white knee-length dress, accompanied by her husband Harry in a black suit. Earlier, the Duke and Duchess expressed their excitement ahead of attending the monarch's 70th year celebration as head of UK. The couple was welcomed by large crowds outside the church, cheering on them as they went inside the venue. 
Megan and Harry flew from US this Thursday alongside children Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana. Queen Elizabeth set Jubilee gift of a horse from Emmanuel Macron. President Emmanuel Macron has given Queen Elizabeth has given Queen Elizabeth a horse belonging to the French Republican Guard to mark her jubilee, describing the monarch as the golden threat that had bound France and Britain during her 70-year reign. Macron later paid tribute to the Queen during a flavor candling ceremony at the Arc de Triomphe Mon Monument, where he laid a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier in the presence of Britain's ambassador to France, Nina Rollins. Elizabeth is known for her love of horses. Fabula de Macroix, the seven-year-old grey golden gifted by Macron, escorted the president down the Champs Elysees in Paris last month as part of an official ceremony Macron's office said. Britain kicked off four days of pregantry and parties on Thursday to celebrate Elizabeth's rule. Macron paid tribute to the Queen for having provided an element of stability amid times of war and profound changes in society. You are the golden thread and that bind our two countries, the proof of the unwavering friendship between our two countries and our nations, Macron said. Macron has been one of the harshest critics of Britain's decision making after its vote to leave the European Union, but the president expressed his admiration for a queen who took to the throne less than a decade after World War II ended. Macron also gifted a thoroughbred to President Xi Jinping when he made a three-day state visit to China in 2018. So we move into our next entertainment story. So Patapa should um Zion Felix is saying Patapa should leave him out of his marital problems. Celebrity blogger Zion Felix has debunked claims by rapper Patapa that he is causing problems between him and his wife, Leha Miller. He emphasized that he only met Leha for an interview and she he's saying he doesn't have anything to do with his wife. He doesn't know what is going on between him and the wife. He's just a celebrity and lifestyle blogger. So he also do interviews and as usual, he went to the wife to interview her as he have done with so many people. So without me not uh, talking much, you would listen to what Zion Felix had to say. Um, I really do this i really react to issues and initially i thought it was a joke until today and i'm saying no i am pa uh, i'm sure you've seen some post about patapa on social media uh or kika kika and me making some allegations um first of all i don't have anything to do with the wife nothing I don't know what is going on between Ono and Neire. I am just a celebrity and lifestyle blogger. I also do interviews and I went to the wife to interview her as I've done with so many other people. Um, initially yesterday when I thought I was a bit screenshots and posting like patapana so I never believed the city patapa so I didn't care about it I think I'm free Colon ever back to Frankfurt I didn't care about it so it was this morning he said was to get more a little he's also a musician he's very good at remember no one now is it true I'm like nah I mean you know me so it's all of those things. It doesn't matter, Patapa. In fact, it never came to mind to ask him because I thought that it's one of those things. It doesn't matter, Patapa. And I have the manager's number. I called the manager and he picked. And it was like, um, Zion. He was trying to calm me down. And me, I wasn't angry because I initially in the case I never found him. I wasn't angry. And I was like, okay, only like come for Patapa. No, from the air conference call. That was no problem. So he called Patapa and. 
upon listening to what he was saying, I'm like, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Say, the whole thing is that I'm not going to do he says so many things. I mean, I can't say you can't say but most of them, it's not important for me to let them out. Only in terms of them, I'm one with each they have their issue, they should solve their issue. But what I want to say here is, Apatapa's wife is not my friend. She has never and ever been my friend. I've met her two times. The very first time I met her was after they married. I drove with my guys to Swedro to go and interview the two of them. Oh, Pablo. That was the first time I met her. The second time I met her was me bar. Germany has a I'm Kushan. And when I met her, I met her at I think uh Hoban was in the train station. I don't know me. And I got to a park so you interview. And I was say, my bow dear, I didn't call it and I call Dotmon. From Dotmon she brought me back to Hobanov to take my train back to Frankfurt. These are the places that I went with the girl. She picked me at the train station, went to do an interview on a park. I will post the interview. I was supposed to post it today, but me that's why now I render and I render ye be and show. So I forgot I me me render the full interview. Here's the full interview. I me 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 upload on YouTube. So we did the interview on a park, and the lady talked really really well. Like get on yaza. You watch the interview, you know, say, girl, no, girl, the girl talked like a wife. Girl, no, kasa, pa. Kasa, ye, pa. When me ba Frankfurt, okay, me ba Germany, Monday. So Tuesday night, I got town, no, and uh, I am a latest TikToker. So when I'm TikTok, I'm going to oh, I'm going to say, oh, oh, but if I wife come for, will come and say, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going the husband has come out to say, so it's only be right, it's only be right, say, as a blogger, as a journalist, you also meet up with the wife, and also, I'm going to say, not just even about the issue come back, we are, we are going to need wife, get in a wife, so let's, let's vibe, you know, so definitely, I knew that if I go out, let me interview, I'll ask about the issue. And already the husband has come out to say, say, Omunjaye. So I wasn't expecting the wife to also say otherwise. So the interview wasn't with anybody. In so when I saw her on TikTok, I'm with the ladies in Germany, but me in the girl, and I'm going to DM me on Instagram. I didn't DM me on TikTok because me TikTok would DM me to take like thousand five years before I apply. But I know say with Instagram, if you DM people, they see it first. So I went to DM me on Instagram. I'm catching and say, oh, no. No Frank photo, not so Cologne, but I don't know here. No, so it's not far. So I checked we were up on the booking train. So I checked the train and it was like two hours from Frankfurt. And when, when I was booking the train, I didn't check the dates. So I'm, I'm going to sleep Friday, 3rd June. Let me try to get now. So I tried to get it was 926 from Frankfurt and I'll get to uh, Cologne 12 something, 12 20 something. And today, Wednesday I'm going to be here ticket now said ticket now because I make kind of uh, Friday ticket now, I'm going to Wednesday ticket. So I'm going to train station when I'm catching someone changing my number. So the, the ticket I bought, I'm going to change it you know, unless I buy a new one. So then, then, then I bought a new ticket, and the one I bought was an hour trip. The earlier one was nine twenty-six to twelve something, but the new one I'm tra- me carrying on was nine twenty-six to ten thirty, which was just an hour. Now the girl I don't have a number. We are making a mini number, and the, the the train time has changed. How do I communicate to her? If you watch, I've posted a video on Zion Felix Studio and I make, 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 make a video of myself talking about the fact that I bought a new ticket and I'm not getting the lady to, to tell her. And the train to is moving. Go do our environment. Go and watch that video on Zion Felix Studio. And I didn't even know that all this bullshit will come after this issue. For you that's my I don't know so. So, yeah, so, nah. so Make on it in the train. I did a video so the cop at a power for now. My chat new ticket by girl, no mini number. Everything is in that video. And so I did meet them on Instagram. Say my chat new ticket now. This is a new time, it's an hour to make on. I think a couple of 20 minutes. I'm a drone and I'll or 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 or
but I bought a new ticket also because I'm at 10 20. You know, I was setting an alarm to 10 o'clock. I found out, sorry, I found out, but yeah, I'm going to be saying, I'm going to be saying, I'm yeah, so that was what uh, Felix had to say. He's saying he has nothing to do with Patapar's wife. So Patapar should stop forcing false rumors about him. So this is where we end the after news right on Ghana Talk Show. And I go by the name Regina Bliss. Stay tuned for the lunchtime with him right on Ghana Talk Show. This is Ghana Talks Radio, the best station rocking the nation.